Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make a double halo rank and we're gonna do our best to make it parametric, okay? So let's start. I'm gonna start with a ring file, which is in my quick commands. I'm gonna go with size 7 and I'm gonna start with a German ring ride. I'm gonna start with a round, so because it's parametric we can change it later. So I'm going to stick with regular default dimensions. And now the first thing that I would do is to build a head. So the head that I want, I'm going to make it ready for rendering. So I would usually do this. Increase the DOM and change the DOM rotation on level 2. And then I go back to level 1 and I move it down. Okay. I would probably open it a little bit more, just like that. And now in this case, what I would do is reduce the rail count to 1 and leave it pretty much like this. But the rail profile, I tend to use the square one. Okay. And what I can also do it go to level 4 and increase this height a little tiny bit maybe okay something like this looks quite right to me so this is the first step and now what i would do choosing the stone is build a halo okay so this would be the first halo what i can do is probably move it up a little bit because I don't want the end of the bezel showing. Okay. Something like this could be right. Some people prefer to leave a space here. So I can change that. I can also go here and increase this space a little tiny bit. Okay. For that, you might need to make the claws a bit bigger. Okay, but if you want to do that, it's here, okay? So if, let's say, I want to change this spacing from 0.2 to 0.4, for example, or 0.5, I can do that here, okay? So this could be an option. Some people prefer it this way. Okay, so that's one thing. Then I could maybe make the halo a bit thinner like this and now we're gonna go for the second halo okay so that's my inner halo and now if i want to add the second one i just need to do exactly the same thing so halo and you will see that it fits exactly what the other one was so you would need to do is change this spacing from center okay and then we want to bring it down so move the height down and we might need to adjust the parameters here on the right hand side oh sorry it's not this one it's not this handle this handle is for the stones so i need to go to halo and here halo placement move it down okay just a little tiny bit you can see that we might need to adjust a few things still so what i need to change is on cluster this one that it's 0.9 this one might not be this one sorry halo we can reduce this wall okay and what i want to do is make the halo okay the top is two millimeters so i need to change this to 2.5 maybe 2.5 Okay, that's barely the same. Cool. Uh, I might still want to bring it down a little tiny bit. Okay. This already looks a bit better, right? Uh, remember, you can change the angle as well if you want to. Okay, but you don't have to really. Let's accept this and remember that everything is parametric here. So, what we can do is do a, a bit of a check to make sure that everything still works fine. 
So if I now change my frame size to size five, everything is updating, okay? So let's say if I change my gem shape to an oval, for example, everything is changing, right? Okay, so that's so good. Something that I might want to do is now that I'm here, increase the height a little bit, okay? It might take a second to recalculate, but this is fine, okay? Cool, okay, let's build the shine now. Is this a bit, that's fine. Okay, let's build the shine now. So, uh, this is something a bit strange to, to, well, it's something that you might experience as a user when modeling, that I've used this command, gem on ring rail, but now I want to do another command, which is cathedral ring rail, and it already has a ring size information. So effectively, the moment I accept this command, let's make it with a much smaller finger size, much bigger, sorry. Let's go with size nine, okay? If I accept this, now I have the ring rail that I use for this command, which I remind you that it's German ring rail, and then I have the ring rail for the computer one, okay? Then what it's gonna happen now is that I'm no longer gonna use this one. I don't want to use this anymore. I want to use this one, the one on the cathedral. So I need to change this input information. This command, gem on ring rail, has this ring rail as a reference. And I want to change it for this one, okay? So let's do it. Let's go to gem on ring rail, edit. And now I need to click here and then it's asking select ring rail. I need to choose the one on the cathedral, which is this one. Okay, it's done. I know it looks weird, but that's because it picks the beginning of the line. If I want to change it, just drag it to the center, which is 0.5. Okay. You can also type it here, location, okay? 0.5. Okay. So now, I have the ring rail that of course I can change, but it's no longer gonna do anything because now this command has this tiny bit of ring rail which belongs to the cathedral as a reference, okay? So I can remove this one, delete, and now if I go to the cathedral ring rail and I change the finger size to size seven, you can see that it's updating, okay? So uh, this is something that can be a bit tricky at the beginning, but it's really, important to know okay so now let's say this is a design what can we do i'm gonna pick a profile placer by choosing the inner rail okay and i'm gonna position it at the bottom okay at six o'clock that's how i usually do it but you could also start from the very top okay then quite important pick up an outside ring rail here okay and now simply let's pick a profile like this one, for example. Okay. And what I would do is I can activate auto sweep if I want to. So that's going to help me preview the, the geometry. And now here on the side, I might want to change to a different profile. Like maybe this one. I'm not sure how that's going to look. Okay, in some properties you might see this, okay? It's a bit of a, of a twist. So let's change it for something different. Maybe this one. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Okay, and now let's go to the very top. And let's put it up to there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just paper it a little tiny bit. Okay, something like this, for example, yeah? And now what I will do is pick this profile that it selected. I'm going to mirror it. Okay, and now this one, I'm going to mirror it. So I have a whole parametric model ready. Okay, and up. And now I will add the bridge again with a profile placer. I would probably do something a bit thinner, like one mil, and also auto switch. OK, 
Okay. For example, I don't like this, so I'm going to change it. What I would do is I'm going to make it white at the center and thin on the sides like this. And now this section, this profile here, I'm going to mirror it. So I have the design over there. Okay. Okay. Something that I don't like here, this part might be a bit too thin, so I can always change it. Just select the, the line on the cathedral and gray and just edit. That's also a way of working. And I'm going to increase this 1.8 to two millimeters. Let's go with this, two millimeters. That's because when you have a profile like this, in some areas it gets a little bit, in my opinion, a bit too thin, okay? So it's gonna be 1.8 here and two millimeters in there. And here I would make it also a bit bigger. Okay, so if I change the outside shape, the whole thing would follow, okay? And now I wanna try something a bit strange. I wanna change completely the design. Okay, I actually quite like this. I, it was not planned, but why not? Okay, so as you can see, I've changed it, so now it's supporting on the halo, okay? So, something that I would do if I was to manufacture this model, I would do a full save right now, and in case, for example, you change the shape of the center, something different, potentially you might need to adjust where the shine meets the halo. So, if you have everything parametric, you can always adjust the shank on the halo at any given point. Okay? That's something to take into consideration, yeah? So what else could we change, for example? Um, I'm going to go to wireframe because I think this is looking a bit strange. Okay, so I want to pick this profile. Maybe widen it a little bit. Maybe make this 2.4. Let's see how that's looking. Okay, bit strange, but why not? And also what I might do now is increase the whole height again. Just a little bit. Okay. Cool. So we're pretty much done. As you can see, as I said, it's parametric. So if we change the stone size to something like an emerald, the whole design will update. Okay, if I change the ring size from size seven to size nine, for example, it's updating in real time, okay? As I said, you might need to adjust a few things in some cases, so just go to edit, pick out the profile, and it's done, okay? So that's the strength of parametric modeling in Matrix Walk. I hope you like it. Feel free to share the models that you've done watching this video. And of course, do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or any doubts. Thank you so much.